Hey coaches and players, we are going to go over a simple five out continuous offense. This offense is to help develop and introduce players to a running five out. When running a continuous offense or any offense in general, being patient is going to be the key to success. It might take a few times going through the offense before we get an open shot. Running a continuous offense, we must always be good offensive players. When receiving the ball, get into triple threat position and think through three key things. Number one, look to score. If open for a shot, take the shot. Number two, look for the pass. On offense, it's crucial to have your head up and be ready to make passes to find the open player. Number three, dribble with a purpose. If a player can beat the opponent off the dribble, go for it. Or if a player needs to take a dribble to make a good pass, excellent. These are the principles we want to teach when going over a continuous offense. The simple five out continuous offense will have one player up top, two players on the wings, and two players in the corner. When performing a five out, it is best to have players that can dribble efficiently because every player will play each spot. To initiate the offense, the player positioned up top will pass to either wing player. When the player passes the ball, they will pass and screen away. Once the screen is set, the wing player will curl off the screen and cut towards the basket looking to receive the ball. While the cutter is going off the screen, the player in the opposite corner is following behind the cutter going off the screen to receive the ball up top. If the cutter doesn't receive the ball, the cutter will fill into the opposite corner. The screener after the second screen will fill in on the wing. If the wing passes the ball up top, the top player can pass the ball to either wing to initiate the offense once again. When the player up top passes the ball to the player on the wing, they will pass and screen away. I can't emphasize this enough to remember. Be patient and wait for the screener to be set before going off the screen. One thing I like to do is set up a screen by making a V cut to set up my defender to be screened along with making sure the screen is set. When the cutter comes off the screen, we will look to make a pass. If it's not there, the opposite corner snaps up and comes off the screen to the top to receive the ball. The cutter then fills into the corner and the screener replaces to the wing. Because the motion repeats and the pattern can go on forever, it is referred to as a continuous offense. Now let's go over how to read the defense. The player positioned up top will pass to either wing player. When the player passes the ball, they will pass and screen away. Once the screen is set, the wing player will curl off the screen, which is our first option to look for the cutter. If the cutter is not open, we will look for the second option coming off the second screen being placed. If the pass is made up top, and pass to a wing, we will again look to hit the cutter off the screen. When the ball is passed to the cutter, the cutter will have to make a decision based on the low defender. If the defender comes to guard, the cutter then has the option to pass the ball to the corner for a shot. If the defender stays and doesn't come and defend the cutter, the player will go to the basket for a layup. Final thoughts. In a continuous offense, we always want to run a correct pattern and be patient. We also want to be good offensive players that get in triple threat position and think through, look to score, look to pass, and dribble with the purpose. Thank you for watching.